all digital recording will need some sort of device for the analog signal to be converted into digital bits and bytes. When the analog audio comes in, either by microphone input or line input, it gets converted with an analog to digital converter. When you're looking at audio interface specifications, two terms that you'll come across are sample rate and bit depth. Without going into too much detail, let's talk about each one of these. One way to think about sample rate is taking a snapshot of the audio frozen in time. The sample rate is simply how many times the audio to digital converter takes a snapshot of the audio per second. For example, CD audio has a sample rate of 44,100 and is referred to as 44.1K or sometimes as 44K. K is short for kilohertz. This means that the audio is sampled 44,100 times every second. When you're looking at audio interfaces or recording gear, you may see several sample rates listed, anywhere from 44.1K up to 192K. For purely audio applications such as CD or iTunes, 44.1K is the standard. For video work, 48K is the standard. High definition Blu-ray discs and DVD audio use higher sample rates, but if you're just starting out, that's not something you need to focus on. Bit depth is another term that you'll see when you're looking at digital audio gear. The two bit depths that you'll see in most modern devices are 16-bit and 24-bit. Let's take a look at one sample of audio. This sample contains all of the frequency of the sound and the amplitude of the sound. If we take the amplitude of the signal, which is represented vertically, and break that up into segments, we get an idea of what bit depth looks like. The more segments, the more resolution of amplitude we can achieve. 16-bit audio will give you 65,536 levels of resolution. 24-bit audio gives you 16,777,216. A common thought is that a 24-bit recording is somehow louder than a 16-bit recording, but that's not true. What a 24-bit recording will help with is very soft signals that fall close to the noise floor. Because you have more data to work with, you'll be able to resolve more of the detail and therefore have a cleaner signal to work with. I would recommend that you record everything in 24-bit if you can. In summary, sample rate provides frequency resolution and bit depth provides amplitude resolution. Ultimately, you will have to choose your settings, but you will want to consider the storage requirements versus the perceptual differences of these settings. For example, a stereo audio recording at 16-bit and 44.1K sample rate is 1.4 megabytes per second. At 24-bit and 44.1K, you are looking at 2.1 megabytes a second. At 24-bit and 48K, it's 2.3 megabytes per second. If you want it to go to 24-bit and 96K, it's 4.6 megabytes per second. I usually stick with 24-bit at 48K, as it is a standard for video and converts to 44.1K in 16-bit without any perceivable loss in quality. An analog to digital converter is not an extra device that you will need to get. Analog to digital converters, or ADCs, and their counterparts, digital to analog converters, or DACs, are built into audio interfaces, phones, MP3 players, computers, TVs, DVD players, etc. Anything that works with digital information and outputs sound will have a DAC or an ADC. It's important to know a little bit about them because when you are looking at audio interfaces or recording gear, you will see these specs listed, and comprehending them can be a little bit confusing if you don't have an understanding of some of the basic principles involved. When you are purchasing new audio gear, don't be tempted by getting something with the highest sample rate, which might be 192 kilohertz. First, you will have to know if you can even tell the difference between a 192 kilohertz recording and a 48 kilohertz or 44.1 kilohertz recording. If you are selecting a new audio interface, there are many more factors that will play into the decision. The great thing is that the tools available today are all very good and can produce excellent recordings. We'll talk more about audio interfaces later in this course.